morning all um, so this is a video from the hotel we're in in Seattle um, for the morning and then we're on the road back to Canada um, so president's trophy because the idea is okay so Tampa won it this year they had 62 wins so they're gonna win a Stanley Cup right not necessarily so these are all of your historical winners of the President's Trophy. And if you haven't already figured it out, the salary cap era has made everything different. Um, 1986, it's won by the Oilers, who would win the Cup in 1987. So it's only a year later. Uh, they won the President's Trophy and the Stanley Cup in 87. 88, it's the Flames that win the President's Trophy. They would win the Cup a year later and be President's Trophy winners in 89. Um, 1990, the Boston Bruins won it. They didn't win the Stanley Cup till 2011. So it's 21 years later. The Chicago Blackhawks, they win the President's Trophy in 1991. It's 19 years later before Chicago wins the Stanley Cup in 2010. Um, 91-92, the Rangers win a President's Trophy. They win the Stanley Cup two years later. The Pittsburgh Penguins ironically win the President's Trophy in 92-93 after winning the Cup in 91 and 92. They don't win another Stanley Cup for 16 years until 2009. 93-94, um, the New York Rangers win both the Cup and the President's Trophy. 95, the Detroit Red Wings win the President's Trophy. They're two years away from being Stanley Cup champs. 96, they're one year away from being Stanley Cup champs. 97, they're the cup champs, but your President's Trophy winners, Colorado. Uh, Colorado would not win another Stanley Cup for four more years until 2001. Um, 1998, Dallas wins it. They'll win a Stanley Cup a year later. Uh, 1999, they win both the President's Trophy and the Stanley Cup. 2000, St. Louis wins the President's Trophy. And of course, they would not win the Stanley Cup until this season, 19 years later. Um... 2001, Stanley Cup belongs to Colorado, who also won the President's Trophy. 2002, Detroit, Stanley Cup, and President's Trophy. 2003, Ottawa wins the President's Trophy, and we have the first team on the board that has won the President's Trophy and not won a Stanley Cup. Uh, 2004, so this is the end of pre-salary cap. The Detroit Red Wings, um, they win their state, they win... Uh, the President's Trophy, they won't win another Stanley Cup for four more years. So, before the salary cap, every team that wins a President's Trophy eventually wins their first or another Stanley Cup. Um, it does take a while, though, for Boston, Chicago, Pittsburgh, and St. Louis. But eventually they get there, which means does Ottawa eventually get there? 2006, so we're into the salary cap era now. And Detroit wins the President's Trophy two years before they'll win a Stanley Cup. And then this is where things are different. 2007, the Buffalo Sabres win the President's Trophy. They never won a Stanley Cup. 2008, Stanley Cup goes to Detroit, who won the President's Trophy. 2009, it goes to San Jose. They've never won a Stanley Cup. 2010, the Capitals. Uh, the Capitals and the Red Wings are the only teams... Uh, that have won a, won a uh, uh, no, and Chicago are the only teams who've won a President's Trophy and eventually won, or won that year, the Stanley Cup. Um, eight years out, the first time they win the President's Trophy in Washington, Vancouver wins it in 2011 and 2012. They do not win a Stanley Cup, of course. Uh, 2013, Chicago, Stanley Cup to them, the year they win the President's Trophy. 2014, Boston, no. I know they won in 2011, but I'm only going with does the President's Trophy mean you're going to have success after? No. Uh, 2015, the New York Rangers. They have not won the Stanley Cup since 2015. Uh, 2016, Washington Capitals. They're two years out from a Stanley Cup. 2017, they're one year out from a Stanley Cup. 2018, Washington doesn't win the President's Trophy. Nashville does. Washington wins the Stanley Cup. Nashville does not. And, of course, this season, Tampa. So after the, the salary cap era, you've got teams in Buffalo, San Jose, Vancouver, Boston, New York, Nashville, and Tampa. President's Trophy winners, no Stanley Cups between them. 
Uh, the most President's Trophies, Detroit has six. The Rangers and the Capitals each have three. Uh, we will see if, if Tampa ends up winning one this year after the year they had last year. But the reality is, as much as we want to look and say, well, you know, Detroit did it and Colorado eventually got back, and there's no guarantee. Uh, there's no guarantee they can hold the team together. Uh, this season, they should be able to, but with each progressive season when everybody's looking to get their raises, Vasilevsky next summer, it gets harder and harder to keep things together, which is why being the best team in the league can be a blessing or a curse, depends on how you look at it. So it's not the President's Trophy curse, or is it? Because after the cap era becomes a thing, you don't necessarily win a Stanley Cup just because you've won a President's Trophy. Um, and again, the only one pre-salary cap era that, that didn't win one is, is Ottawa. Uh, Ottawa's run definitely was hurt by that lost season. All right, just a fun thing I thought we'd look at this morning. Sort of a madness video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. I'll talk to you again soon.